Special Containment Procedures SCP-002 is to remain connected to a stable power supply at all times, to keep it in what appears to be a recharging mode. In case of electrical outage, the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed and the immediate area evacuated. Once faculty power is re-established, alternating bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet light must throw the area until SCP-002 is re-affixed to the power supply and return to recharging mode. Containment areas to be kept at negative air pressure at all times. Teams including a minimum of two members are required within 20 meters of SCP-002 or its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm there is another person present as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by proximity to the object. No personnel level below 3 are permitted within SCP-002. This requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level 4 administrators. Command staff issued such a waiver must be escorted by at least five level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact and must temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance. Following contact, command staff will be escorted at least 5 kilometers from SCP-002 to undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit to return to duty by psychic staff, rank and security clearance will be restored when quarantine expires. Description SCP-002 resembles a tumorous fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 cubic meters or 2,000 cubic foot. An iron vault hatch on one side leads to its interior, which appears to be a standard low rent apartment of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window through though no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains furnish furniture, which upon closer inspection appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair, and various other biological substances produced by the human body. All matter tested thus far shows independent or fragmented DNA sequences from each object in the room. Reference: To date, the subject has been responsible for the disappearance of seven personnel. It has also, in its time at the facility, further furnished itself with two lamps, a true rug, a television, a radio, a beanbag chair, three books in an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small potted plant. Tests with a variety of lab animals, including higher primates, have failed to provoke a response in SCP-002. Cadavers as well fail to produce any response. Whatever process the subject uses to convert organic matter into furnishings is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans. The Muhalsen Report the following is a brief report detailing the discovery of SCP-002. The subject was discovered in a small crater in North Portugal where it struck the earth from orbit. Encased in a shell of thick rock, the fleshy exterior of the object was exposed by the impact. A native farmer happened upon the site and reported his findings to the village elder. Subject gained SCP attention when a level 4 agent posted in the area detected a small radioactive anomaly generated by the object. A collection squad of SCP security personnel led by General Muhalsen was immediately dispatched to the area where they quickly secured the subject in a large container and performed initial testing with subjects recruited from the nearby village. Three men individually sent into the structure subsequently vanished. Upon discovering this deadly property of the subject, General Muhalsen issued a level 4A termination order of any witnesses, roughly one third of the village, to ensure no outside knowledge of the object and then initiated the transport to SCP facility, data expunged. During preparation for transport, four SCP security personnel were inexplicably 
drawn inside the object where they too immediately disappeared. Following inspections, it appears as if the object has grown several new furnishings and was beginning to look like the interior of an apartment room. General Muhalsen immediately ordered several Class 3 Hampstead suits for the remaining security team members, who proceeded to lift the container into a weighted, waiting freight ship for transport to the SCP containment facility. Following the termination of General Muhalsen, SCP-002 was resecurited by SCP staff and brought into special containment in Classified, where it currently resides. Staff with clearance below level 3 have been denied access to SCP-002 container without prior approval of at least two level 4 staff after the Mulhausen incident.